हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सीबीएसई क्लास टेंथ एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सो वी स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फ्रॉम ए पॉइंट क्यू द लेंथ ऑफ द टेंजेंट टू अ सर्कल इज ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ क्यू फ्रॉम द सेंटर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर The radius of the circle is can be a seven centimeter, b twelve, c fifteen, or d twenty four point five centimeter. First, we have to draw the figure for this. From a point Q means we are having a circle and a point Q outside it. The length of the tangent to the circle is twenty four. So this is point Q, and we will get tangent here somewhere. This length is twenty four. We give this name point P and the center point name O. Now the distance of Q from the center is twenty five. Means this distance is twenty five. They said find out the radius. So this is the radius, and we know the radius is always perpendicular with the tangent by theorem ten point one. So can we find O P? Yes, we can find O P with the help of Pythagoras that h square hypotenuse square is equal to sum of other two side. This is for right angle triangle. We are having hypotenuse opposite to right angle that is twenty five square a twenty four square and then b square. So twenty five square will be six hundred and twenty five. Twenty four will be five hundred and seventy six plus b square so subtract 625 minus 576 is equal to b square so this will be i think 49 is equal to b square so root b will be under root b will be under root 49 that is b is equal to 7 so the radius Radius is seven. That is answer number A. Now question number two. In the given figure, look here. This is the figure. If TP and TQ, these two are the two tangents. Means TP and TQ are the tangent to a circle with center O. Show that angle POQ is equal to one hundred and ten degree. And then Angle PTQ is equal to means we have to find this PTQ means we have to find this angle. Now we know this is a quadrilateral. We can see so the sum of all these four angles will be three uh, sixty. And we know this tangents are always perpendicular with the radius. So this two will be ninety ninety. Can we find this? Yes, we can find with the help of sum of quadrilateral. We know the sum of all these four angles. That will be angle P plus angle O plus angle T plus angle Q will be equal to 360 degree. Some angle property of a quadrilateral. You can write some angle property of a quadrilateral. Now instead of P, we can write 90 degree plus O 100 and zero. Instead of Q, we can write 90 again. And instead of T, we can write whole name because they had given a whole name. Angle P T Q equals to three sixty degree. Now the sum of these two two hundred and ninety plus angle P T Q that is three sixty subtraction angle P T Q is equal to three sixty minus two ninety that will be seventy degree. So your answer will be B. Now question number three: If the tangents PA and PB from a point P to a circle with center O are inclined to each other at an angle of 80 degree, then angle POA is equal to. Means first they had not given us any figure, so we have to draw a figure that PA and PB are two tangents from P point P to a circle with center O. So first a circle with center O and two tangents from P. I am drawing here. This will be PA 
and here this will be PB these are the two tangents and we join with the center point again we know this will be 90 degree and this will be also 90 degree theorem 10.1 or you can say the tangent is always perpendicular with radius through point of contact now they told us to find angle POA generally we have to see this POA is not directly we have to join a line from P to O and then we have to find look here I am going to join it now actually we want to find POA POA means this angle we want to find this this is the question mark so how we can find we know these two triangles will be congruent by theorem 10.2 so and they had given us that both these tangents are inclined to each other at an angle of 80 degree so this hole is 80 degree so if this hole is 80 degree what will be this angle and what will be this angle come on tell we know this are the bisector and these two triangles are congruent by theorem 10.2 so if this is 80 this will be 40 degree and this angle will be also 40 degree now we are getting a triangle I am drawing it here so that you come to know a o and p now we got this 90 this 40 can we find the third one yes with the help of some angle property of a triangle we know the sum is 180 so you can write uh, 90 plus 40 plus angle p o a is equal to 180 degree some angle property of a triangle now this will be 130 plus angle POA is equal to 180 degree subtraction angle POA is equal to 180 minus 130 angle POA is equal to 50 degree so this will be our answer Thank you so much for watching my video. I am going to continue this series in my next video. So please all my, watch my all videos. Thank you so much.